So where am I going today? Well, I'm going to a place that at the beginning of colonization in Australia, um, after about 20 years, uh, this place got set up because it was the most remote, inhospitable place on the planet. It was the place where people who had committed offences in England and had been transported to Australia and then committed secondary offences in Australia, they needed to be transported again to the most remote and difficult place in the world where you could never ever leave from. It's called Port Macquarie. But any discussion about the area must also include the region behind Port Macquarie and its dense woodlands. From Coopernook in the south up to Warhope, the area was used to provide timber to the growing colony in Australia. Today about half of the Middle Brother area is a national park, 1,830 hectares to be exact, preserving some of the largest remnant trees, with the other half remaining as working state forest. My ride is going to take me from Kendall, through some of these forests, and up to Warhope on day one, and then from Warhope across to Port Macquarie and down to Lauriton, and then from Lauriton I'm going to come back around to Kendall. Oh, this looks like a bit of a concern just into the trip. The road might be closed but the road has ended and I'm now on a gravel track with a massive concrete pier in the way. I think the bridge is closed. Might take a look at it and see if we can walk across. Well, it seems fairly solid here. Probably can't take a vehicle, but you know, I know I'm heavy, but I ain't the weight of a vehicle down there this is at the far end of the bridge it's coming away from the road so again if I was a two-ton truck I'm probably going to cause some damage but I'm not I'm just a bicycle so I should be fine we're gonna give it a go anyway I'm maneuvering a big heavy bike around these concrete piers is a bit tricky. There we go. We're on the bridge. Hopefully we're gonna get over the bridge. And we're across. An adventure within an adventure and I've been cycling now for about 10 minutes. And of course the beauty of having a road that's got a closed bridge is the rest of the road should be very quiet. There you go, the end of the stretch of gravel back onto nice smooth tarmac. The area is named the Three Brothers. It was named by James Cook on May the 12th, 1770 during his exploratory voyage of Australia. They were so named for their resemblance to his Yorkshire Dales back in England. But when he named them like that, he was unwittingly paralleling the Birupi language names of Duragan in the north, Moragan in the middle and Boragan in the south. on the main road, I guess, to Warhope. Yeah, although this road's got no traffic on it, you can hear a lot of traffic noise because the freeway is less than 50 metres to my right. But it's fantastic. Keep them over there, keep me over here, 
we'll all be completely happy. The state forest is very different from a national park. Um, national parks are beautiful looking places and they're kind of locked up to stop people getting into them. Um, you can go in, you can visit as a tourist, but you can't take your dog, you can't hunt, you can't do an awful lot of things. Whereas a state forest is a working forest. They're growing trees uh, for harvest. Uh, this area has got some of the biggest forests around, mostly gum, black butt gum is what they're growing. Um, a lot of it gets exported. And it's a, it's a working forest, but you can four wheel drive through it. You can take your motorbikes through it. You can take your dogs. You can camp anywhere you like. Very different, slightly rougher, tougher, slightly harder edge to a state forest, but uh, yeah, they're still there. Yeah, they're magical places. So I've been going up. Now I'm going to go down for about three or four. And here we are. All of a sudden, we're in Timbertown. Timbertown being an area these days of Warhope. Timbertown Motel. easy 25 k's today Good morning. Yes, that was the Oxley Highway that I just came down, which was bloody busy for a Saturday morning, but um, it's got me down to the outskirts of Port Macquarie quite quickly. That's 10 k's done, literally in 20 minutes, half an hour, so pretty good. This is one of the things I like about Kamut is that rather than just sending you in on the Oxley Highway all the way into Port Macquarie, yeah, it's found a way to be able to come down a power line trail. Um, there's virtually nobody around, there's certainly no cars because there's massive gates in the way. Happy days. You can see how back in the day these woodlands would have been completely impenetrable. Today there's a cycle path. And all of a sudden you're back out into suburbia. A bit bizarre. That was a lovely way to come into the town though. And here we are right down in the centre of Port Macquarie. On a busy Saturday morning.
Due to its isolation from the rest of the colony and impenetrable surrounding bushland, a penal colony was established in 1821, replacing Newcastle as the place to be banished for irredeemable convicts which had committed secondary crimes while in Australia. The first 60 men to be sent here came with 38 soldiers and civilian officials. They also had six months of supplies and were carefully selected to have the necessary skills to establish a self-sufficient settlement. The first camp commandant, Francis Orman, was fond of flogging the inmates and the place was known as a living hell. Uh, that was Port Macquarie. It's a busy little place, especially on the weekend. Quite a lot of cyclists, which was nice to see. Um, the beaches are absolutely beautiful at this time of year. Absolutely spectacular. So now we're going to head down towards Lake Katai. Nice to be finally down on the flat, even if the road is very busy. say the road the side of the road varies quite a bit but at the moment there's this great big wide runoff area it's fantastic it means I can take my time I can wobble about and the cars can go past me and we're all nice and safe if only all roads were like this it'd be brilliant I thought it's probably worth mentioning what I do for hydration um, normally I'm drinking about one 750 ml bottle of fluid per 10 kilometers so today 65 kilometers I'll get through at least uh, six bottles um, this is already my third for the day and I'm varying it between a bottle of water and a bottle of an electrolyte drink now normally it would be what it says on here scratch which is a Danish electrolyte drink with a bit of sugar added to it um, but at the moment I haven't got any of those so I'm just on um, hydrolyte, just a standard hydrolyte which seems to be working just fine. So by the magic of editing there's 14 kilometers done and we're now down at Lake Katai. Um, yeah it's a pretty long straight road. Busy. and that was a very nice lunch thank you very much Chinese fish and chip shop and uh, I'm now cycling down by the beach on a cycleway more of these around I reckon the place would be bursting with cyclists it's just so nice so easy Finding the last hour of the day a bit hard going, um, mostly just because I'm tired. 
I'm about 55 kilometers in for the day, about another 10 or 15 to go. Um, yeah, the surface of the road's a bit slow, and in particular, it's, it's been busy, busy roads. That's pretty spectacular. So now I've got about 10 k's to go, um, but a bit of a problem that my right leg is starting to cramp a bit, which is never fun to cycle with the cramps, but anyway, it's got to be done. You reach the top of what should be the last major hill for the day, and the road starts falling away in front of you. Hopefully it's about 9 k's of downhill into Lorryton now. So here we are, North Haven, Lauriton, um, they're all part of Camden Haven which is a whole bunch of uh, little towns together here so we've effectively made it. And that is the Camden River. And I've got a cycleway to take me into the rest of town. It's a busy old town at seven o'clock on a Sunday morning. Well, compared to the last couple of days, it's very overcast today. There's slate gray clouds over there and it's, it's cool. It feels quite cool cycling right now, but uh, yeah, here we go. The camera probably won't pick them up, but that's a field full of kangaroos. And here we are, we've gone over the freeway. We're heading down into the main part of Kew, and then across the, the old Pacific Highway and into Kendall. 